Welcome back everybody to another Destiny 2 video. Today we're actually going to be going over this week's Leviathan Raid Challenge and that is going to be the Gauntlet. Now in short, all the challenge actually states is that no Guardian can stand on the same plate more than one time, but simply doing this method still seems to cause multiple failed attempts. So I'm going to be showing you guys the exact method that we used along with some of the key features that you need to watch out for while running this. Now for starters, I would highly suggest that you run the rotational method. In case you don't know how to do that, basically you split your fire team up into two teams of three. You have one person as your runner, the second person as your plate holder, who is going to be shooting your higher arrow, and the third person is going to be your scion smasher, and they are going to be dedicated to your lower arrow. Once the sequence starts, each team is going to rotate clockwise around the gauntlet following the runner. In my opinion, this strategy not only works extremely well for the normal and prestige raid, but doing this challenge, I almost feel like this is the only method that you're going to be able to use. So in the very first round, you are simply going to run that method. The challenge actually officially starts going into the second round once the two runners have come to the center and slammed. So the rotation method that we ended up using is after the runner came to the center and slammed, they then rotated to the third position, which is the Scion Smasher. The Scion Smasher then rotated to the plate holder position and the plate holder position then rotated into the runner's position. Now one of the first issues that you might run into with failing the challenge here is if the plate holder for the second run jumps on the plate before the runner picks up the orb, for whatever reason, it actually counts that plate holder as the previous plate holder, which then means once the runner picks up the orb, challenge will fail because now it says that that person has held the plate for two different runs. So it is a key point here to make sure that the runner picks up the orb before either plate runner jumps onto the plate. From here, you are simply going to do your second run. It is also highly worth noting here that you only need to jump on four plates. So for example, if you start at Chalice and you are jumping from plate to plate to plate, do not jump on Chalice. That is going to be technically the fifth plate if you are running the rotational method. You do not need to jump on that final plate. You can simply just go to your four plates and then jump off and wait for the runner to go to the center. Now after this second run has been completed and you go into your third run, you are going to use the same exact rotation. The runner is going to go to the Scion Smasher's position, the Scion Smasher is going to move to the plate holder position, and the plate holder is then going to be your final runner. Once this phase has been completed, it's simply going to be everybody goes to the center and picks up the orb, everybody then goes into the running position and make your way around. Uh, we ended up having one person uh, wipe here, so we ended up having five people make it all the way through. I highly doubt that getting a certain amount of orbs um, through the final section is part of the challenge, so you're really just going to be running this the same exact way you would run it in normal or in prestige. And other than that, guys, there is really no big change to this method. Once you get the strategy down, once you realize the few little key points that can automatically fail you, uh, it is really, really easy to do. So I do hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, definitely hit that like button down below if you did. If you want to see more of my Destiny content along with chilling out in any of the live streams, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.